many academic studies and scholarships demand a strong and impressive research proposal. If you're new to this, don't worry. Watch this video for an easy formula using Google Scholar and AI tools such as ChatGPT. The typical structure of a research proposal includes Title Abstract Introduction Literature Review Problem Statement Proposed Methodology Expected Outcomes References Sometimes we need problem formulation, evaluation matrices, data sets, Gantt chart or timeline. We will follow a different order. The title and abstract will be at the end. Step 1. Narrow down key terms relevant to your research field. Ensure they are specific and align with the expertise of your potential supervisor, if known. For instance, if your field is computer science and you aim to research medical image processing. Open Google Scholar. Search medical image processing. Locate recent research and review papers published within the last two years in high-impact factor journals with significant citations. You can find impact factor from the journal's homepage. Also focus on popular publishers, like IEEE, Elsevier, Springer, ACM, Wiley, Nature, MDPI, Taylor and Francis. Attempt to incorporate one or two papers authored by your potential supervisor, if known. Step 3. Here is the first round of shortlisted papers. Find the impact factor from the home page of their journals according to Clayavate, Web of Science, Woes. Sometimes it is confusing and low-quality journals misguide with fake impact factors. Alternatively, you can easily find the category, W, X, Y, or Z, from Heck Higher Education Commission of Pakistan. Prefer only the highest W category papers for the second round of short listing.
Here is the category and impact factor of relevant journals of selected papers. A paper of Y category or no impact factor is being removed. Let's focus on the last three papers of the W category and high impact factor. A paper of the highest impact factor is considered the base paper. Step 4. Find relevant and W category papers that are cited by the base paper and list them in chronological order before the base paper. You can find these from the references of base paper. Find relevant and W category papers that cited the base paper and list them in chronological order after the base paper. You can find these when you click on cited by in Google Scholar. Here is the list relevant to the base paper in sequential order. This list can be expanded further. Download and thoroughly study all these papers. These papers contain ample material for the introduction, literature review, problem statement, and methodology sections. These papers will also aid in learning proper formatting techniques. Conducting a critical analysis of these papers will help complete the literature review. You will understand how subsequent papers identify research gaps from preceding ones, typically found as future directions in the latest paper. Let's examine each section individually. You can utilize any template offered by the institution or found online. Refrain from copying and pasting directly while drafting. Don't be concerned about the level of English initially, it can be refined later. Review the introductions of all chosen papers and then rewrite them in your own words. Your final section, References, should include the cited papers from all relevant sections in addition to the selected papers. Begin your literature review with the oldest paper from the list of selected papers. Pay close attention to its final paragraph, which is crucial. Here, you should discuss the most recent research, its limitations, and what further research is needed. Ensure this paragraph is closely linked with the problem statement. In a problem statement, the most important requirement is to clearly identify the problem, its significance, and the gap in current knowledge that your research will address. In the methodology section of a research proposal, you mainly need to explain how you plan to conduct your research. This includes describing the research design and methods for collecting data or conducting experiments. Justify your choices, outline how you'll analyze the data, and address any potential limitations. Expected outcomes are the anticipated results of your research, outlining what you aim to achieve and the potential impact of your findings. First, study the abstracts of the selected papers. An abstract is a concise paragraph that summarizes the entire synopsis without citations, typically written after the main sections. It must address three questions, what, why, and how. What is the research about? Why is it being done? The motivation. How will it be conducted? The methodology. Answers to these questions should be derived from the introduction, problem statement, and methodology sections. The title of a research proposal should be concise, clear, and descriptive, giving readers a good idea of the topic and focus of the study. It should accurately reflect the content and purpose of the research while being engaging and informative. First, examine the titles of the selected papers. Ensure they incorporate all keywords from the abstract and other sections, such as medical image, segmentation, and machine learning. The title should strike a balance, not too long or too short. Verify through a search that it does not match any existing titles. Examples of possible titles could be medical image segmentation using advanced machine learning or advances in machine learning based medical image segmentation. The last step is final proofreading. You can use ChatGPT to proofread your drafted synopsis by copying and pasting the text into its chat window. ChatGPT can then review the text, provide suggestions for improvements, and help identify any errors or areas that need clarification. 
All important links can be found in the description. Let us know what you'd like to see next by leaving your comments. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you all the best.